All right. Uh, as you can see, uh, <laughs> the literally this is how fast my skateboard bearings spin. Uh, they are absolutely caked with crap. Just tons of mud. Just, man, I gotta clean all this stuff up. Well, I'll take you guys through it and how I clean it. Placing this board with one of these guys. Oh no, the light turned off. Marabaka. These are my graphics. The, it's just spray paint. I'm not really good as to making of the graphics. I just got creative with what I had around the house. There's BB. Hi, BB. Hi, BB. This guy here was one of the first, it's like the mock design, and then I based this design off of, I based all the other designs off of this one. Uh, these two, right here and right here, they're both the same designs and just the bare minimum colors. But then I ended up uh, transferring onto three toned, uh, three colors, so it's gold, white, and blue as you can see. And a little design on the very top. Uh, I really dig the red one. Uh, it all meshes really well. As, as well as the orange. I'm not as fond as the orange as I am with the red, but I dig the red for sure. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna be choosing orange. Orange today, and which I have one right here. Kinda sucks, cause I'm not very good with putting on grip tape. Got a lot of bubbles on it already. I don't know if you could tell, but there's tons of little tiny micros. Tons of bubbles already. Uh, just on the grip tape, but. I'm excited to put one on uh, a nice fresh deck. It's always really nice. It's like Christmas all over again. This is how I put my boards together with willpower. The reason why I change am changing my board because I want to, and plus I don't want to deal with a really soft waterlogged board. Yesterday I was thinking, man, I haven't skated for two days. <laughs> I was really itching to skate, and I was about to kill somebody. <laughs> So I was skating out in the rain at the local park. Say hi, bud. It's my baby boy. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't handle not skating, so I went out skating a good hour, hour and a half until my board started to get really, really, really soft. Had a lot of fun, and then as soon as I got home, I looked at my board. It was just caked in mud. Tons of mud, tons of water and the bearings and it just wasn't good. I I was kinda dumb. I, choosing to ride with forty dollar bearings. I'm using Swiss bones right now. Uh there's Swiss bones ceramics and it's just absolutely I think they're priced for ninety nine dollars and I ended up getting them half off. Uh from a friend of mine. Uh it's cool because they're ceramic the balls don't rust but however I would imagine the casing would Hi. I say this. The reason why people do this with their skateboards. Now, I, I remember when I first started skating, you know, I would buy boards and people would be like, okay, you want this set up? You want me to set it up for you? Okay, sure, I'll set it up for you. And then once they put on the grip tape, they scrape it up like this. Not knowing what it actually does to the board. Granted, it is good. It's, it's good. It's good that they do that, uh, but you never really understood why they do this. Uh, it's because when you thin out the edge of the board, it's obviously it's the same thickness all the way around, but when you, when you thin out the edges of the board and say you land upside down when you're doing a trick, it's less, you're less likely to rip the grip tape off of the, the deck itself. Uh, it, it, regardless of what kind of grip tape it is, it could be, you know, uh, mob grip or cheap iron horse grip. Uh, this, this I think is iron horse grip. So, quick way clean out your bearings, I, it's all I have, and I'm lazy, I'm lazy by nature, not really, but I'd like to clean my bearings with a compressor, 
As a comparison, this is what they are like right now. Let me find a place to put my board while my son plays with this. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is how it spins. Okay. So I'll set this guy back here. I'm gonna blow it out. Let it spin for a little bit. I wouldn't recommend this because, first of all, you, depending on what kind of bearings you have, it could ruin it. I've had positive experience with doing this uh, with multiple times with this type of bearing. That's pretty good. Okie dokes. So, the verdict is... They spin. Very well. And this is after blowing, uh, after using the compressor to blow the bearings. Uh, they spin really good. And they, they do the job. Uh, they are not oiled. Just the compressor. Only the compressor. So what I did was I... I blew out some compressed air, uh, pushing the wheel that way, uh, pointed it dr directly at the bearing at like a 45 degree angle, and then making the bearings, uh, the wheel spin in su uh, as such. And it at the same time, that's how it blows out all of the, the gunk out of there. And it's clean, it's obviously there's some it needs to be cleaned up a little bit more, but all the gunk in the bearings are gone. It's absolutely cool in there. Anyway, gotta lube this up and go skating. Hope you like my videos. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe to my videos. And as always, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Like, I'm moving. Boom, boom.